What's up guys, Quizzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm showing you how to make these nice little text logos. Uh, as you can see, I have two uh, examples here. Um, and it, I think they look pretty, pretty cool. Um, and they're not too difficult to make. Um, if you've used Illustrator before, it'll probably be a little easier. If you haven't, it's gonna take a little bit of practice to uh, get this down. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I think the document I'm working in is uh, 1500 by a uh, thousand pixels. So if you want to create a new document and go off of that, um, I'm just gonna take that. Okay, I'm gonna just have a fill. Uh, make sure you have no stroke. And we're gonna go over here to the rectangle tool. Click that. And we're just gonna make a rectangle about 50 height and about 350 in width like that and now you want to kind of figure out what text you're gonna write and kind of figure out a general idea of what shape you want it to be um, so if we look right here um, so like I obviously have a Q so Q is round so I'm gonna start with that the round um, if you have like I'm gonna be spelling out um, test so obviously I'm just gonna have a standard T, so that's not too difficult to figure out. So I'm gonna have this one across. I'm gonna uh, Command C, Command V. Hold Shift and tilt it 90 degrees. Place it right in the middle, like that. Boom, there's my T. And I'll show you guys how to create curved la uh, letters when I get to the S. But yeah, so you just want a general idea of what you're gonna do. Um, and for the E, I'm not gonna have the E connected. I'm just gonna have the three uh, horizontal lines. So I think the top of the T is going to be the first one. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that. Actually, I'm going to copy that one first and then drag it out a little bit. Somewhere around there. Um, doesn't have to be where like the final placement of it because we're going to change everything towards the end. Get it how you like. Um, so that, that'll work for now. Then we're going to center this one. We'll go about there. And I'm just going to line it up with this edge for now. Let's copy that again and put one on the bottom. Is that in line? Yes it is. Um, so boom, there we go. Now we're getting to the S. So I kind of want the S to connect at the bottom here to the E, go up to the top and then connect into the final T. So for this, I'm just gonna extend it like maybe there and I'm actually gonna zoom in here and make sure these bottoms are aligned let's see yeah we're good okay so this is how you create any curved shape so you want to go ahead and go to the ellipse tool create a circle if you're going midway you want to go to about where I'm at right now if you're going like full shape like I did with the Q, you wanna to go to the very top, like that. But since I'm going here, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna bring it over so the end of the rectangle is in the center of the circle. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead back to my rectangle tool. And I'm just gonna change the color just so this is a little easier, this step. Um, I'm gonna create a rectangle right down the center of the circle, like so. I'm going to select both the circle and that green rectangle. I'm going to go here to Pathfinder. If you don't have a tab on the side, you go to Window, Pathfinder, and it should pop up. And you want to click the second one, minus front, and half a circle will come up. So that's what you want. Um, then we're going to go ahead on that half circle, copy that. Put it right back in line and I'm just going to change the color of it again for so I can tell the difference. I'm going to hold shift and alt and make this so the circle lines up with that. Let's zoom in here and see if we got it. So we want it in line with this line right there and that's pretty close. Yeah, I think that's actually right on. Zoom out. <clears throat> it 
select both those half circles and again do minus front and there we go we got the curve part of our s um, i'm going to duplicate this middle part of the e line it up and make it a little smaller here i'm going to select this bottom part of the e and the curve of the s copy v and i'm just going to tilt that around and let's place it about there and we can just connect this middle part boom there's our s and now let's get this part of the t and move it on over to about there and there we go boom text or test see it's not that hard uh, you just got to figure out where you want to connect things ahead of time and then makes it pretty easy obviously the word I chose wasn't too difficult um, and I've made multiple versions of these so I kind of have it down fairly well um, one thing though is when you complete you want to go through and make sure everything's uh, lined up pretty well so make sure the curves line up and there's no weird anomalies or anything like that um, then you can kind of play around a little bit Oops, don't recall. Um, and then you can play around a little bit with these so I'm gonna make this be a little smaller like that um, I, yeah I think that works maybe make this not too far something like that alright yeah I think that's pretty cool now you could theoretically leave it like this but I'm going to uh, round the edges so to do that we're gonna first first of all let's select everything and get your pathfinder back up and click this first one and this will just merge all the things together so it's just one shape now um, and now let's go make sure you click off this so it's no longer selected pick a different color so I'll just go yellow this time um, and then let's go to the uh, ellipse tool again let's zoom in a little bit let's go to the very corner and let's make a circle like that so top to bottom and one side touching the edge like so and then we're just gonna copy that and put it on all the uh, edges you can also hold uh, alt or option and that'll duplicate it and then you can just drag There we go. Okay. So now we got all our uh, edges with a little circle next to them. Um, now, this is the probably the coolest part. This little trick can help you in so many different things when it comes to logo design. Um, so select everything, and then you wanna go and get this tool, the Shape Builder tool. You can also hit Shift M on the keyboard. Um, and yeah, so you wanna select that gonna zoom in here a little bit uh, you want to hit click control and go into these gaps that we don't want or actually hit option uh, alt, or, alt or option and get it so it fills like I don't know if you can see that if you go on it you want the minus sign so I'm, you can see when I'm clicking alt and option when I'm clicking off or on um, and then you want like this grid and then click and it'll just get rid of the stuff you don't want um, so you just want to keep doing that everywhere uh, you can leave it at okay so as you can see when I go to do it here it extends into this part and that means the circle was not placed very well which is what I was fixing on that other one Oops. I don't know how it's so far off. There we go. Select everything again. Oops.
And then once you get all those out of the way, you can just simply delete all of these yellow circles because you no longer need them. And voila, there is your nice rounded edged logo saying whatever you want. Um, it's not too difficult. It's actually fairly easy, surprisingly. Um, and then I believe we, yeah, we already merged all this. So it's just one whole logo. And then you can save it. You can add a stroke on this. And yeah, you can just call it a day. Um, you might want to play around with it uh, before merging everything. Like I said earlier, make sure there's no things out of whack. Um, and yeah, that's basically it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, be sure to like this video if it helped you. And let me know if you guys want to see more Illustrator uh, tutorials. I know this is the second one in a row. I think the past couple I've posted have been pretty awesome. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.